Good morning, everyone. Here's a quick and easy way to block websites like YouTube when you're using GoGuardian. You will be able to block this website, but also easily turn it back on if you need it for instruction. So first thing you're going to want to do is sign in to GoGuardian using your Google sign in and you'll see your classes appear. Before you start a class, you're going to want to go over to the word scenes and scenes are um, like restrictions that you can turn on and off for your students. And these can be applied to any class. So once you make a scene, it works for any class that you're going to be going to. Now, my suggestion is every teacher makes a blocked website list called YouTube Blocked. And that way you're not blocking every website um, on the internet. You're just blocking anything with the YouTube in the um, URL. So it's very easy to do. You're going to click the word create list. And once you arrive, you're going to want to name your list. Make sure you name it something that you'll remember. So I like to call it YouTube Blocked. And you can even set the color if you want. That's just for ease of finding it. And then you're going to hit the next button. Now, when you arrive at the next button, you're just going to want to type in the website. And because all YouTube videos start with youtube.com, um, just adding that will block all the videos. And then you'll click search. Now, notice you're going to get some different options here. YouTube is my top hit. And I'm going to hit add. And notice it appears down here as well. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna hit save, but you notice that you could make some sort of blocked list where you added more than one website. It wouldn't just have to be YouTube. But YouTube blocked, I find the most useful teaching. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now I have two. The reason I have two is just because I made one in another course. If you ever want to delete a setting, Super easy, click the wheel, the settings wheel, and hit delete. Yes, I'd like to delete. So now I can see I have a blocked list called a scene. I can also do the same with allowed websites. So if I only want students on a certain website, let's say a math website, or maybe um, some sort of interactive activity, I can also create a list and that will only allow them to be on that website. So it works the same. This is just blocking, this is allowing. So it's kind of less websites. Now when I'm in class, any scene that I add, let's hit start class. As I'm teaching up here in the top right corner, you notice I could have created the scene here as well. That would take you to the same place. But now I have YouTube blocked. So if I'm teaching, 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 and I notice a few of my students have wandered over to YouTube, I can turn this on and it will automatically block YouTube while I'm teaching. Then if I need to give them a video to watch, I can just say disable scene and now no scene is applied. So hopefully that's a helpful tutorial about how I can add a block list like YouTube blocked so that I can keep my kids on task and learning. Thanks so much for watching.